In April 8th, 2024, we'll get a total solar eclipse of the sun, which will also be visible in the United States and across Ohio. A uh, total solar eclipse happens when the moon is directly in front of the sun. That means the moon is casting a shadow on the earth. And so if we happen to be on the surface of the earth within that shadow of the moon, then we'll get to see the total eclipse. There are going to be a lot of events. You can go to science centers or universities and they'll often be having events for you to attend. And so you'll be able to participate in that and, and learn from scientists and folks who know about eclipses if you've got questions. And so there's an opportunity to, to learn more as well as just experiencing the eclipse itself. Total solar eclipses happen about every 18 months, someplace on Earth, but you have to be in just the right place in order to see a total solar eclipse. And so for us here in Ohio, the next opportunity won't come until 2099. The path of totality for this eclipse is about 100 miles. As long as you're within that 100 mile wide strip, you'll see the total eclipse. The closer you are to the middle of that path though, the longer the duration of the totality will be. The most common way to safely view the sun is using solar viewers or kind of eclipse glasses designed to block enough of the light from the sun so that it's safe to still look straight at the sun during something like an eclipse. As a professor, I'm excited to share with the public and students of all ages, including my college students, uh, what an eclipse is and to have an interdisciplinary kind of look and approach to eclipses, right? What can we learn about other cultures and how they viewed eclipses? Or what are some inspirations that artists have uh, taken from viewing eclipses and put into their work?